All right, welcome back to the vlog. We're taking a little weekend trip to Wilmington, North Carolina. Ever been there, babe? No. no I this don't, is the first time, yeah. I don't think I've ever been there either. If I have, I was very young. When we booked this trip, it was supposed to be sunny and like 75, but now it's supposed to be kind of rainy and like 50s. in the 50s. <laughs> So we'll see what happens, but we brought our rain gear and our rain camera gear so that hopefully we can still have some fun. Um, follow along with us and we'll see you when we get there. So we made it to Wilmington. We stopped to do a quick charge at um, a Tesla supercharger. We just wanted to be powered up for tomorrow because tomorrow is our only full day. We're going to go to our B&B after this and we will give you a good room tour of that because it's supposed to be a really nice B&B and we haven't stayed in a and b since our wedding. So mm -hmm. that should be really fun. We love little B&Bs. I think I found us a poke ramen place downtown. It's like a six minute walk from the B&B. So we might do that if it's not too busy. And yeah, we'll see you later. So we just made it to the B&B and give you a little room tour. It has a really nice big bed and a TV and um, like a writing workstation area, little closet that they that you can store your stuff in. And then um, they gave us a free bottle of wine, which I always love. Um, actually, it's not free. It's $50. So I'll just look at it. I won't be drinking. I'll just be looking at it. And then they have a really nice shower and like a nice bathroom. The shower is like a shower room, like it's huge, but the tiles are all nice and sparkly, which I love. Found another part of the room. I would never have known this was here. Oh, yeah. We had dinner, it was really good. If you come to Wilmington, um, and you like poke or ramen, you should go to the Fun Bowl. It's right downtown. It's really affordable. I mean, Ben's bowl was like $1 more than the ones we get at the grocery store, and it was like way better than the ones oh, at the grocery store. It's so much food. I mean, that's it, the thing. It was a good amount of food. Ben doesn't eat that much, so so it was really good. Uh, highly recommend that place. And now I think we're just going to chill for the night because we're a little tired from work today. So we'll see you tomorrow. All right, good morning, everybody. We're gonna head over to breakfast. Um, it's actually at another place. Our hotel actually doesn't have breakfast, but they have a sister place that they'll give us free breakfast at. So we're gonna head over there this morning. And then after that, we're gonna head over to a little place called Bald Head Island. It's about a 40 minute drive from Willington. We're gonna have to take a ferry across, um, but you can only get there via ferry actually. So we're gonna go check it out. It's supposed to be like kind of nature preserve, kind of like a small village. So uh, follow along for that. So we just finished breakfast. We are on our way to the marina to catch our ferry over to Baldhead Island. It is still raining. It's not like raining hard though, so we'll see. Breakfast was really good. We had, it was like a French dish, dish like a Monsieur Croquette or something, or Madame Croquette. Um, I've never had one before, but it was really good. And I've never had a breakfast at a B&B &B or an, an inn where you kind of eat like family style with other people who stayed there. So we ate with two other couples and it was actually really fun. We got to talk and yeah. talk about travels and stuff. So um, That's me being not a super social person, I was a little nervous about it, but I would definitely do it again. I think it's a fun way to just 
kind of meet people even if you never talk to them again it's just fun so um yeah so we're on our way and we'll probably talk to you when we get there We have made it, we're parking right now, um, plugging in, but the ferry leaves in like 10 minutes, so we're gonna have to probably run over there and try to catch the ferry before it leaves. Otherwise, we'll have to wait like another hour, so. Alrighty, so we kind of gave up on the whole Bald Head Island thing. The weather here has turned really south. Um, the winds have really picked up and the rain is really coming down. And uh, they even sent out a tweet on the ferry saying that it's gonna be delayed due to how bad the wind is. So I'm not sure it's a great idea for us to go over to Bald Head Island today. Um, I'm not really prepared. I didn't bring the right, um, you know, really, really right storm gear. I've got a waterproof jacket, but the wind's really picking up and it's getting quite cold. So I don't think that we're gonna do that today. But we did find a ferry from Southport, Southport to Port Fisher, and uh, that's going to take us over. It's actually going to take our vehicle over as well. It's only $7, so even significantly cheaper than the other ferry. Um, so we're going to go ahead and uh, take a ride over. Um, we're going to try to stay dry today and drive around in the vehicle instead of walking on Baldhead Island. We should get to see some of the same sites, um, and we might even get to check out an aquarium. But because the rain's so bad today, I just don't think it's our day. So uh, hopefully you enjoy this ferry ride instead of the other one, but uh, for us, it's still kind of a bummer. One of the most hardcore hikes I've ever done. And to some of this, this is like, like warm, nice and wet. Waiting. <laughs> Sweating a little bit. This is pretty cool. Have you ever been on a car ferry before? No, I've never driven the vehicle on, cause I think I've gone on with my parents, but. We got the covered portion. Yeah, I know, we're waterproof. It is so cold out there with the wind. I'm so glad that we didn't go to Bald Head Island today. I, I don't think I would have made it more than about 30 minutes before I would have called it quits. And it would have been very expensive mistake to make. Um, not very expensive, but it would have been an expensive mistake to make to go over there for 30 minutes and then come back. So uh, here comes Kayla. How was that? Whew. It's windy. It's so windy, it's so oh. cold. don't understand how we always get the worst weather when we want to do outdoor things. It's so windy, the waves are huge, and it's cold. But it's really pretty, if you can get over that. <laughs> I think the goal now is to try to find some lunch, um, but we're kind of in a beach town that's kind of off season, it's really rainy today. Which we knew. Which we knew, we knew. <laughs> but it might not be a good day for uh, hanging out at the beach or finding food. Tell us about your experience, Ben. <laughs> uh, we had a really good experience there at, uh, what is it? No, it's called uh, Butts in Such. And it's kind of like a barbecue place, southern home cooking food. Wouldn't that be what you would kind of call it? Like, yeah, yeah really good. Absolutely amazing. Met a lot of like really interesting people. Uh, had some really interesting conversations, like unique. Yeah, the, 
The people we met were really cool. The one couple, like, they lived all over, and so they told us some of their experiences living all over the place. I don't know. It was just a really great experience. The waitress also had, like, stories to tell, and she was very sweet and just happy and went out of her way to make us feel good and she had a really interesting story as well so it's just a really good experience meeting people it's just kind of gives you this travel high when you meet people in your travels that like you instantly can just like have a full conversation with and like you just learn about each other's lives and I don't even think I know their name it kind of made our day better and I highly recommend butts and such (laughs) when you come to um, Wilmington in like the Carolina Beach area I'll try to put a link I'll try to put a link down below for it. Um, Hopefully we can kind of send a few people their way. A good descriptor of that experience is an Anthony Bourdain experience where you just eat and also like... Like Have a conversation with the people there. Learn, yeah, like learn the culture of the locals and things like that. So yeah, I, I would say it's a very Anthony Bourdain experience and those experiences tend to be the best, so... Ready to go on a quick little hike? Yeah. Let's go. Where are we? Where are we? I don't know. It's like Carolina Coastal Park. Carolina Beach State Park. Yeah, yeah. See, I was close enough. Doesn't know where we are. What the heck? Well, this is kind of a last minute thing. <laughs> and he's driving. Yeah. Look, I just put it in the GPS and it takes me there. <laughs> Nor- normally I'm pretty good with this, to be honest, but this is just kind of like a last minute decision for us. It's a good thing we have a satellite thing with us at like all times. We yeah. wouldn't survive. We have to look for Venus flytraps while we're here because this is one of the only places in the U.S., I think. Well, Florida, I think, yeah, for yeah. us, them, too. There's a zone. There's a zone, but we're in the Venus flytrap zone, so we need to look for Venus flytraps and see if we can find one. It's kind of neat. All right, Kayla, that's where you're sleeping tonight. I need a few more layers for that. You ready? You bring your sleeping bag? No. Well, I'll get warmed up. <laughs> Those ghost crabs, they want to see you. like that wind is picking up again yeah i feel like the storm clouds are coming in and we have like two miles left we might be running the rest of it (laughs) i got my raincoat yeah this is the sugarloaf overlook if it was warm we could go swimming i don't think you could swim you don't think you can swim? No, I don't think you know how to swim in the national, not national park, but the state park. I think really? it said no swimming. Huh, well, there's a beach. So Zip. if it wasn't against the rules, we could swim. <laughs> so these are pitcher plants. They're a little dead right now because it's winter, but that's kind of cool to see them like in the wild. I've only ever seen them in like a botanical garden. Oh, I see one. We found some Venus fly traps. I thought that was pretty cool. It's like before their growing season. So like we're super lucky that we even saw them because they really don't start growing until March. So they're just babies, but they're like adorable and cute and as cute as a plant can be. (laughs) But yeah, it was kind of cool, so. It's like a creepy area. It's very creepy and closed now. I don't know if it's getting too dark too. I don't know if the camera can quite see in this. It's definitely getting darker out. I think that storm is coming back. These roots are gonna get me one way or another. We just got back from having, picking up some dinner and charging. Um, We're on our way back to our hotel. I think that's really it for us tonight. I think we're just gonna go back, relax, enjoy our nice hotel room. Tomorrow's plans right now are that we have breakfast at the Inn Provides and then we probably are just going to drive home or maybe do one small thing. But we're going to end this vlog here 
and we hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy this, please give us a like and subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you on the next one. This place was pretty cool. Very Ben Plains. Yeah, it's totally my style. Tropical dark greens and blacks and got this mug that says coffee for travelers on it. So we of course had to get it. Yeah, I was sold. Yeah, we got some Costa Rica coffees. Yeah, we should be good. Oh man, I don't have enough hands. Oh no. Just knocked my earring out. Oh. Waving to the boat. Yeah. <laughs> they were waving at me first. Butts and stuff. Butts and such. Yeah, I was gonna say I keep saying butts and <laughs> butts stuff. Butts and stuff, butt stuff. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's a bleep. We <laughs> <laughs> have to bleep that out. <laughs> that that clip's getting deleted in its entirety. Anywho. Um very inappropriate adult stuff. <laughs> This truck is like gonna hit the other yeah, truck. Just absolute chaos. chaos is happening around us. Absolutely right now. Like seven <laughs> cars pulled around, they're all honking horns. It's a parking lot in the aquarium. <laughs> Anywho, what is going on? We're gonna go to our B and B after this. <laughs> I don't know if that was a motorcycle or a scooter. No, I think it's I think it was like a mini cooper. <laughs> it was definitely it was interesting. Anywho. And then we're gonna go find something to eat. I think I found a poke. Name a better sound. <laughs> Isn't that what that reel is about? No. Isn't that what she says? She's like, name a better sound than this. And then shakes it. Anyways, <laughs> that's a blooper. Squirrel. <laughs>